pantry. So today I'm making a red curry vegetable slash cabbage soup. It's a super easy way to prep ahead and get a lot of vegetables in with a lot of flavor punch. I serve this a few different ways. Um, after it's been in the fridge, I will take some fresh shredded cabbage and put that on top when I heat it up. And I also like to put chicken, beef, shrimp, whatever protein I decide, or leave it vegetarian and totally skip the protein if you want to. Okay, so if this inspires you to stay with me, and I hope it does, it's really easy to do, uh, go down in that about section below and on the way down hit the like button, go over and visit my Facebook page, visit all the links I've provided for you as well as my Wild Tree website, and uh, let's go make some soup because it's really delicious and I'm hungry. <laughs> Come on. All right guys, so have a seat and let's get started on this soup. This is my version of a cabbage soup. I've been asked over and over if I had a recipe and I do it a little bit different every time, but I don't, um, I don't always put the green beans and carrots and all that that some people do. So that being said, I've got red, yellow, and orange bell pepper. I've got four jalapeno peppers that were partially seeded three cloves of garlic, a huge white onion from Farmer's Market, a handful of cilantro, um, some ginger, my giant head of cabbage, uh, lemongrass, and this is Thai inspired, remember, uh, my favorite red curry paste, grapeseed oil, chicken stock, sriracha, and uh, some diced tomatoes, some organic diced tomatoes. And that's gonna be the base of the soup. And um, then I can actually put, when I, heat it up, I can actually put the shrimp or the lean chicken or whatever I see fit to put in it as a protein if I want to um, add a protein or I can just have it pretty much vegetarian except for the chicken stock. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is light my little camp chef and get that going. Uh, I've got grapeseed oil, I've got some garlic grapeseed oil. And there we go. And I'm still working on the first can of this butane. So if I run out, you'll be, you'll see it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to let my um, Dutch oven here get really hot. I'm going to add the garlic, roasted garlic, grapeseed oil from Wild Tree, about a tablespoon to two tablespoons, because there's a lot of vegetables to saute. And I don't want to skimp on that at all. I've also got some salt and pepper here. So while I'm sauteing off the onions and the peppers, I'm going to cut up this cabbage. Okay, okay, so I did it. have to replace that canister. It was just about out. Look how pretty this is already. You just want to saute these vegetables till they're about translucent. I'm going to get my can of tomatoes open. I'm going to put everything in here. Show you what I'm going to do with my um, seasonings. I'm going to do some salt. Not a whole lot because the chicken stock that I'm using, and you could replace it with veggie stock if you wanted to, but salt, and I like coarse black pepper. A couple good healthy pinches of that. And we're going to need my Thai lovely I love this curry paste. Red curry is my absolute favorite. And I'm going to want at least two tablespoons. And this jar is just about done. So I'll do the other tablespoon off camera. Well, maybe I can get it. Anyway, two healthy tablespoons of that. And kind of mix that in and let it start getting happy with the veggies. Mm -hmm. And then we want, I'm just going to, uh, I've got three slices of ginger. I'm just going to roughly chop those down. So we're going to have enough time to get happy in there. That goes in. Done. A squirt of lemongrass, maybe a teaspoon and a half of that. And that also adds to that high inspired flair. And then you can't forget sriracha. I don't care who you are. I want this spicy. I want it flavorful. 
And I'm going to put down maybe a good tablespoon or two, let's say two, of sriracha sauce. And then we're just about ready. Oh, yeah. It already smells like Thai food. Mmm, yum. And really, the curry paste is to your flavor palette. You may not like as much as I do. All right, so I'm going to get, go ahead and put my tomatoes in here. And my cabbage. Get that drop down. And we're going to... Oh, I only used half of that head of cabbage. I don't think the whole thing will fit in here. And this is going to cook down, and it's a lot of food for me. So I think um, I'll wait and use that in another batch. And maybe I'll make a different variation for you. Because cabbage is so good for you. It's really, really good for you. I'm not going to put the cilantro in until the end. So if you guys are wondering where that is, it's going to come at the end. So as this breaks down vegetable-wise, um, it'll soften up, release its own flavor, vegetable stock, if you will. And I'm just going to give this a little taste. See if I want some more. I am going to put um, some more of that curry paste, probably another full tablespoon. And we'll have a red curry. Delicious. So down goes a quart of organic chicken stock. You can use any kind of chicken stock or veggie stock, however you want to do it. And we're going to let this simmer until the veggies soften, but don't get mushy. I don't want them mushy because they're going to be reheated. And if you need to add some water to this, you can as well.